Welcome back to AV Football. We're going to take you through our boot collection slash current rotation. There will be some new stuff coming in soon, so we'll keep you updated with the rest. All right. Um, let me start with the indoor shoes that I have that Adam gave me. They, uh, they do the job. I don't play indoor as much, but, um, you know, for indoor shoe, I think these are as, pretty much as good as you can get. You know, I like the upper a lot, you know, for, like I said, for indoor, I think these, uh, these do the job. Uh, I can go. Let's start with the Pumas. I don't wear these as much as you can see. I'm a I'm a Nike guy, but um, these are these are really light. I like the colorway a lot. The heel is a little bit uncomfortable, like you see how like high it is. But I mean, overall, the boot is a decent boot. You know, I don't I don't hate them. Like if I wore a Puma, I guess I think I wear these. But you know, it's a decent boot. <laughs> okay, let's start with these uh silver ones. These are probably one of my favorites. Actually, all these are my favorites, but. I like the colorway a lot of these, the silver and the lime and silver, you know, with strikers. So uh, I have to have these kind of, these kind of colorways. But um, overall, the boot, I like wear these on turf, grass, everything. Uh, the upper is good, the back's good. Uh, overall, great boot. I love these boots. Um, I'll go next with the it's it's brothers or sisters, whatever you want to say. These are probably my favorite colorways. You know, gold, bronze, silver, all the shiny stuff. You know. That's, that's where you get me. So um, I like these used to be super flies. Actually, I cut off the the top because I wanted vapors. I just couldn't find the vapors. So I did some uh, DIY and got some vapors that you, wouldn't, you couldn't even tell. But these are probably some of my favorite boots. Like for games, I probably these are probably my go to. So uh, now I'll start with the old reliables. He's out. <laughs> He's obviously been through some things. You know, we've been through a lot together. I'll never, be, I'll never give these up. I'll, you have to have an all black boot. And obviously, it's a little <laughs> contradictory what I said with having silver and gold. But these ones, you usually wear these on turf, but um, you can wear them anywhere. But these are like the old reliables. I'll take these anywhere. And last but not least, probably my favorite boots. Obviously, they've been through some things as well. These are came out there in the 2018 World Cup. I want to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, these are probably old. They used to be white. But they've been through some, some things as well. But these are probably my favorite boots that I have right now. I'll take these anywhere. So Now, if you had to rank a top three. A top three, I would go probably one. I'm going to go four because all these, these are just the four I have. I have like maybe like 10 more at home. But these are four I bring, I brought, I brought now because these are my four favorites. So if I rank these top four, it would be these 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 and then interesting these. only because like this these are my go-to like for any type of game like if i'm feeling confident i go here and then the gold you know the gold and then feeling swaggy yeah exactly so these are my rankings and these are my boots you'll see them in the videos my turn uh did a lot of work with puma so you see the back row Filled with Puma. You got your first generation Ultras. Great upper, exposed knit. Um, obviously, I've gotten a lot of wear out of these. A little long studs. So wearing these on AG. It says FG AG, but usually like wearing these on grass. We have the previous generation Ultra with the MG sole plate. Great sole plate for AG pitches like matt was saying a little bit stiff of an upper heels a little stiff as well the heel coming up that high doesn't bother me as much as matt but it's an all right all right boot then a great colorway of the same boot this time in an fg soul soul plate yeah i mean pink can't go wrong with a nice bright pink right then we'll move to the previous generation king really like the upper they use a synthetic kind of leather. The shape could be a bit better for my feet. It's a little narrow in the toe box for me, but overall, conical sole plate or studs. So, yeah, comfortable. Then, futures. We have MG sole plate again. Again, probably one of the best AG sole plates on the market right now. And then we have the Unisport collab, the Great Wave, which unbelievable colorway concept everything 
they killed it with this one. Then we'll get into some Adi. Had to go with the, the current Preds with the fold over tongue. Yes, we do judge as to where you wear that tongue. That thing's got to be hanging, you know, just for the vibes. Great colorway as well. And then we have same in the laceless version, white out. Can't go wrong with the all white boot for me at least. Lockdown doesn't bother me with being laceless. This is probably my first like laceless boot I've really like spent a lot of time in. And I can't complain as far as lockdown. And then the latest to come in, the Mizuno Moriello, Moriella Neo made in Japan's. If you've worn Mizuno, you know the quality and the comfort of these. Pretty much wear these straight out of the box into a match. Conical sole pattern or stud pattern. Yeah, could probably be a little bit more aggressive with the studs just to match the lightness of the boot and everything else to make it a little bit more responsive. But everyday training, can't go wrong. Cozy. And then if we were to go current rotation, top three, probably go laceless, Mizuno, and then the Pred with the tongue. These are top three. One, two, three, for sure. And yeah, that's it. All right, so that's our current boot collection and rotation. That's what we wear on the daily, pretty much. Like we were saying, when we were taking you through the current rotation, there's gonna be new stuff coming in. So just look out for the next video and what we're doing on Instagram, TikTok, and all that other stuff.